What up food fans, it's Bobby and summer is finally here. So I broke out my grill to show you easy tips for grilling beef at home because I'm collaborating with my friends over at Beef It's What's For Dinner to help you elevate your grilling game beyond just burgers and show you how easy it is to grill beef any day of the week at home. In front of me is the rib eye steak, which is the top selling cut of beef for summertime grilling for a good reason. There is huge flavor in this cut and it could not be any easier to grill. The ribeye comes from the rib section and you could always tell it by its distinctive marbling. That marbling has so much flavor. And when you cook it on the grill later on, it just melts and bastes into the beef and even delivers that much more flavor. Now to up the flavor even more, I'm gonna make one of my famous spice rubs. So I'm gonna reach for some smoked paprika. I'm gonna add about one teaspoon to this bowl. Then I'll grab some cumin and add about a teaspoon also. And then last, I'll grab some ancho chili powder and go with another teaspoon. Now I'm gonna mix up the spice rub a little bit. Now during the summertime in Chicago, you will oftentimes find me at the beach playing volleyball as much as I can. And beef has high quality protein, iron, zinc, and B vitamins that help me stay active all summer long. So I am totally down with that. Now, the spice rub is smelling awesome. It's a little smoky, a little earthy. Before I hit it up on the ribeye, I'm gonna pinch over a little bit of salt and then a generous pinch of the spice rub. Now, when that spice rub hits the grill later on, it's gonna sear into the crust and add a ton of flavor. Now pinch over a little more salt and another generous pinch of spice rub. And when you have a tender, juicy cut like a ribeye, all you need is a simple spice rub like this, or to be honest, even salt and pepper, put it on the grill, you're made in the shade. Now I do wanna give the spice rub a little bit of a chance to do its thing and really infuse flavor. So I'm gonna stash it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll put it on the hot grill. Now while the beef is taking a quick chill out, let's talk about the grill. I'm preheating the grill, but in a certain way to maximize the grilling of the ribeye. On the left side of the grill here is my warm zone. I have the burner set to like medium high heat and on the right side is my cooler zone. Now after just 15 minutes in the fridge, check out how the spices have really got down deep into the ribeye. That's gonna create a ton of flavor. Now, if you do wanna marinate it for a couple hours, don't put the salt on until right before it hits the grill. Otherwise the salt might pull out a little too much moisture. Now my grill is preheated, the ribeye is ready. All we have to do is get this bad boy on the grill. Yes, the sound that every griller and chiller loves to hear. Let that ribeye do its thing for about four minutes until it gets nice and crusty on the bottom side. Another really cool thing about the grill and beef is that the grill provides optimal tenderness and maximum flavor for a cut like the ribeye. Let's flip the steak over. To all you guys, is that a crust or what? Let's let it go another three minutes like that. Now, whether you're using a charcoal grill or a gas grill, the recipe and the cooking instructions are exactly the same. Now I'm gonna move the steak over to the cool zone. And I'm gonna close the lid of the grill to kind of create an oven effect and finish cooking the beef. Now, when it comes to cooking temperatures, using this chart right here, you can cook it to 145 degrees for medium rare, 160 degrees for medium, and 170 degrees for well done. All right, now's the time I wanna take a probe thermometer and insert it in the side of the steak right into the middle. Now, don't play the guessing game, all right? It's very hard to know exactly when the internal temperature right in the middle is gonna hit your desired temperature. So always use either an instant read or a digital thermometer. It'll take away the guessing game because it's a horrible game that I lose almost every time. Now I'm gonna close the lid again and let it finish for another maybe seven minutes until the timer goes off at 145 and I'll take it off. All right, we're at 145. I'm gonna remove the probe thermometer and then use a clean pair of tongs and put it on a clean platter. Look how incredible that ribeye looks, you guys. Now I pulled it at 145 because I'm gonna let it rest for five to seven minutes so the juices can redistribute inside. And during that time, the carryover cooking or the residual heat inside this beautiful ribeye is gonna take it to 150. And during that time, I could also tell you that a one pound cooked ribeye will serve three people that on top of the fact that during the summer, grocers offer the biggest discounts on fresh beef so you can feed a crowd for a very economical price and make everybody happy. I'm gonna transfer the steak to a cutting board here. Take a sharp knife and go right through the middle. Oh, that knife is like melting through the meat. And then let's check it out. Oh, look at that, you guys. Perfectly medium, a little bit of a blushy pink still in the middle 
and that spice crust has a beautiful edge all around the steak. I think the only thing kind of left to do is taste it because I'm literally drooling at the mouth here. Look at that. So juicy. You see that, guys? I'm so stoked. Oh, that spice rub has so much flavor. The crust is perfect and the beef is so tender, so juicy, and it has a little bit of that grill flavor. Now, I wasn't going to stop at one steak. Let's move on to another cut of meat and show you exactly how I cook it. This beauty right in front of me is the strip steak. It comes from the loin region. It's also nice and lean and most importantly, very easy to grill. I'm also gonna make a super easy spice rub to enhance the flavor of my strip steak. So in my bowl here, I'm gonna add some sweet paprika, garlic powder, a little bit of dried oregano, and a tiny pinch of cayenne pepper. Then pinch over some salt, and then a generous dusting of the spice rub, and do that on each side. Let's put this strip steak on the grill. There's that sizzling noise that I like to hear. Let it do its thing for three minutes. Now I'll flip it. Check out those beautiful sear marks. I never get tired of that. Another three minutes on that side. Now we'll move it to the lower heat zone of the grill. Time to put the probe thermometer in the middle of the strip steak. And I'm gonna cook it until it's 145 degrees. Use clean tongs, a clean plate, and get it off the grill. After letting it rest for five to seven minutes, Use a sharp knife, and once again, it goes through like a knife through butter. Look at that steak. The juices look awesome. That is grilling perfection, my friends. You guys, the beef is crazy tender and juicy. Thanks to the grill, that spice rub is delivering maximum flavor. Well, there it is, you guys, the strip steak and the ribeye with tips you can use any day of the week to help elevate your grilling this summer. The recipes are down below. If you want more summer grilling inspiration and tips, check out beefitswhatsfordinner.com. The link is below. I have two more videos below me you definitely should check out. And I'll see you next week like I always do. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking.